What's up guys? Hope you liked all the rear suspension. Uh, now moving right along. The next fun thing that nobody likes is sanding. I absolutely hate it. I don't know how guys do this in body shops for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I don't want to do it for 20 minutes, but it has to be done. Paint work is 90% prep. Now obviously this is a little bit different and you don't need to go completely overboard with this like you would a body panel, but at the end of the day, you, if you want a good product out there, uh, looking good, 90% prep. And when you think you're done sanding, you're not. Keep sanding some more. Um, thank God most of this is already bare metal. Uh, it's got a little rust on it because it's been a, couple, a little humid. So we're just going to scuff that all up. i got to grind this center housing. And then um, we'll just tape off here. We'll tape off here. We'll tape off the ends. And we'll get it in primer. Like I said, I can't. Um, I can't uh, paint it tonight because I forgot I didn't have reducer. So let's uh, let's get to, let's get to work. show you a little trick so when you tape the whole face like this don't don't tr I only try to get the side edges to be easy but don't try to get all these other edges a lot of people will take a razor blade and and trim it I got something even easier I use a brass punch like this and all I do is tap it on the edge all the way around now don't be shy brass doesn't mar so you don't have to worry about it. perfect paint edge up there. Fucking mint. Um, it might work with other metals, but I use brass just because it's the safest, because it is non-marring. You can just work your way around. There you go. Perfect paint edge. No issues all the way around. Perfect. Beautiful. And it was a lot faster and a lot easier. So now what I'm gonna do is I got two pieces of pipe we're gonna stick in the ends of this thing. I'm gonna tape around that. We're gonna sit it on jack sides on the other side. And then uh, we'll start. So I got some of uh, AutoZone's finest self-etching primer. It's kind of fucking dark in here. This fucking lighting sucks. Let me try to make this any better. That's better. Self-etching, good for bare metal. Now that's been cleaned. Wipe down, cleaned again, wipe down again. Um, that's it. Fucking spray bomb this thing. This is ugly army green. That's all they had. Didn't really care. Now that you have the rear end full primer, two coats of primer, completely dried. I let mine dry overnight because I realized I didn't have any base coat reducer. So now I'm going to show you everything you need to have to do um, uh, two part base coat, top coat painting. Um, it's not a terribly expensive startup, but it is going to cost you some money. So first you need an air compressor. <laughs> There's no way of getting around that unless you got battery powered air guns. Uh, the second is you'll need a uh, paint gun. Now a lot of you guys, you don't need to go super fancy. Um, I know, I, I mean, I got cheap ones that don't even have names on them. 
Uh, they work. Now, if you're painting a body, you definitely want to get a better gun. This is a Mac Tools paint gun. It's got like a 2.0 tip in it or something. I don't know. Painted a, uh, a lot of shit with this gun. You can still see the yellow on it from painting the underneath inside of my Type R. Um, I got a swivel on this. Uh, it definitely makes things... It's a little different with the regulator on it. But I do have a regulator on the base of it. Because you want to regulate the pressure down. This is an HVLP, high volume, low pressure paint gun, which most guns are today. So you want to regulate this thing down in the 20 something PSI range. Um, so moving on, you're going to need your base coat. Now this is Omni base coat. It's not, well, this color was kind of expensive. But this quarter base coat cost me like $65. This is bright Calypso green. You're going to need a reducer with that. Um, Omni does not make reducer in a quart. I thought they did. I don't know why they didn't. So you could run a PPG reducer. I use a Transstar because it's $10 cheaper than the PPD. This is like $19. Bucks. Omni's actually made by PPG. This is their lower end. Um, they put the sticker over it. Yeah. There you go. There's your PPG logo. Now, it's not a bad paint. We painted my whole Type R with this, and it came out really damn good. So, the Omni set their game up a lot, and it's a lot cheaper. So you need your reducer. Those go together. Now you're going to need your clear, and you're going to need a top coat hardener for that. That's for your clear. I have an extra one because this one's almost empty. Use the last little bit of it up. You need some mixing cups, some strainers, some mix paint sticks. I even needed this last night with the primer. Got to have a mask and new filters. Uh, you can buy the filter packs cheap. You spend the money on the mask once, buy the filter packs later. I've had this mask for five years. I bought a pack of filters, like I think it was like 10 filters on Amazon or something. Keep a roll of paper towels with you. Now, I'm also going to do a spray card because I want to see how close this paint is to uh, oh God. fucking snap on toolboxes with their stupid fucking drawer openers. Can't stand it. I'll have to take them all out. So you can get these um, spray out cards from uh, wherever you get most paint supplies. I don't know. I go to Levine's. I don't know if that's a nationwide or not, but um, I asked them for a spray out card. And what, what's cool about it is it's got all your different color primers. So I'm going to paint this when I paint the rear, and then I can hold it up to the paint on my car, and I have a special flashlight that mimics sunlight, and you see what makes the most. So if you got to paint a panel, like i got to paint my bumper and front valance, I will see, you know, dark gray, medium gray, light gray, or white primer is going to match the best. So this is, this is a smart thing, and just quickly spray that out. You rotate this around for however spray you want. So right now it's flat. You rotate this way and it's vertical. Now if you're painting down, like I'm going to be doing and painting up, you're not going to want that flat because it's not going to work right for you. Uh, these are your adjustment knobs for your fan. If you want it tighter or closer and as much. So, like, when I get some paint, I forgot fucking lacquer thinner. Son of a bitch, I knew I forgot something at the store. So when I get some paint in this, I can already feel the fan, it's probably too wide. Um, you, you, you know, I'm going to have a piece of cardboard and I can just hit it real quick and see how it's working. So, I got the whole rear end set up. I got some shit down in there. Cover, if you're going to paint in your garage, cover everything you don't want overspray on. Because this stuff makes a mess. I'm telling you right now. I'm probably going to change my shirt because I actually like my HC t-shirt. Um, I got work pants on. Don't give a shit about those. But like my boat's covered. I got part of the floor covered even though I'm going to be painting it. So anyway, 
let's um let's get some paint mixed up now they will always tell you on the directions will always be on the can so on this right here uh, if you can see it one part medium base coat one part medium series reducer okay what's that mean to you I don't know top of your mixing cup you will see the reduction rates all right there so you're gonna go one to one so you'll fill your line up I don't know I'll probably go six so you fill up paint to there fill up reducer to there stir it up now it, it's a fine art with getting the right amount perfect like you can you can dunk dunk your stick and count the drips uh, the stream coming off until it goes to a drip um, there's a lot of different ways Google is gonna be your best friend on that everybody has their own way their own way they like to do it um, you'll see how mine is you know it's I like a couple of seconds to drip and that's about it you don't want this way too thin and you don't want this way too thick so it's got to be kind of in the medium it's something that does take practice I, I'm not a painter I'm not a body guy but I get stuff done when I need it to be done I've painted a whole car before uh, outside underneath uh, the whole outside I've painted the underneath of this I mean I've painted small stuff so so shake this up real quick makes it easier plenty of paper towels around. Ah, oh, such a good looking color. And the funny thing is I actually didn't even really, I wasn't even really a huge fan of this color when I first bought the car. The only reason I bought it is because it was so damn clean. <laughs> Put your top back on because if you're clumsy like me, knocking over almost a quarter paint is no fun. Honestly, that was probably entirely way too much paint, but I am going to do two coats, and uh, I'm going to try to lay it on a little heavy, so. Sorry, it is under the car. <laughs> when you do this, you'll see it starting to thicken up. When you start getting the reducer mixed in with the um, base coat. You count one, two, three, four, five, six, drip. I'll try to go five count. It's a little thin. Stir it a little more. You can always add a touch of paint in there to thick, thicken it up a little bit or if it's you know, it's too thick, add a little reducer. I'm no perfectionist, I'm not a body shop. I learned this from a friend, and a little bit of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, about five. That's not terrible. Let me change my shirt, I like the shirt. I'm actually gonna uh, sweat it out with a hoodie. You can see it's 70 degrees in here. But 
not so much with the base coat but with the uh, clear that shit will be all over you and you will feel it I promise you your strainer you don't have to fill up your whole cup you don't have to pour this whole thing in there but I did yeah you could always come back I really wish I had a vise mounted on here I'm gonna put this in the vise So give that about 15, 20 minutes, depending on your humidity. Let it set up and you come back and spray your second coat. So I ran out and got some uh, lacquer thinner so I can clean all, clean all my tools as they say. Um, yeah, so we've got two coats of paint on the rear axle and now we just have to clear it. So the clear is definitely a little bit stronger, I guess you can say. Um, it, it fucking stinks. Some people really like the clear. I don't know. It stinks to me. But just cleaning out the gun, cleaning out the cup so you can reuse it. Make sure you always clean your gun after you do this. I mean, if you don't, you will be in for a hell of a time later when you need to use it again. All right, other one. The clear is two to one. So you're going to use two parts of the clear, one part of uh, top coat hardener. All right. Don't want to really mix this one up too bad. Um, the hardener is not really forgiving as the reducer. Um, this you will actually have the clear dry. You don't want that. It's the shiny stuff. So it makes it shiny. I will not be bringing the camera into the garage to spray the clear. The clear is super hazy. And since I don't have a downdraft paint booth, I'm not ruining my camera. So, just like the paint, get your gun set up, not a wide crazy path in it, um, and just clear will run much, much easier than painted, I promise you it's going to be much, much easier to run the clear, so be careful spraying the clear. Oh, that's good. Alright, be back in a couple minutes. Okay guys, there you go. Which is all done. It's probably really hard to see <laughs> the clear, the shine it has, but it is super shiny. Super shiny. That's almost too nice to put under a car now. <laughs> Uh, negative. That bitch is getting... Ooh, trying to set up the camera on something. That bitch is getting installed once it's dry. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these moving blankets, tape them to the top of the jack stands when it's dry. I'm probably going to let that thing dry. Uh, 
couple of days. I let it dry for a couple of days. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you go on and tackle your next paint project yourself. It's really not as difficult as it looks or thinks, but it does take practice. I, I won't lie to you like that. You won't. You will not be good the first time you pick up a paint can. Um, there's two or three runs in that. Nothing crazy. Don't really care enough. If it was a body panel, it'd be a different story, but I didn't treat that like a body panel. Like always, I hope you guys get out in the garage, crack a cold one, pick up the wrenches, paint guns, welders, whatever you gotta do to finish building your hot rod. Have a good night, guys.